What's up guys, we're gonna build beats. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make some melodies using less is more. If you do end up enjoying the video, make sure you do hit the sub button and turn post notifications on because it does help it a lot. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so before we get started, what I want to do is just show you the idea of what I mean by less is more. And this is just one way. Um, and what I, the approach I want to take is just uh, using your ranges, right? Uh, sounds don't matter too much in this instance, but let's take our bass um, and let's throw this down real quick. And I'm gonna try to do this quick. So we shift down one, two, three, four, five, and then let's pull it down. So now we have that low end and then we can take the same thing throw this sound down let's pull it up let's do a fifth so we could just cheat the system and do a fifth right here shift d and then we can kind of use these notes because this will be a minor if you can kind of see it forming okay and i'm just copy this over just for speed We could just add another sound. Let's pull it up. Okay, so that's pretty much what we're gonna do. Okay, so you just wanna utilize this range and then your melody will start to sound um, very solidified, I guess. So let's go ahead and actually get into making a melody. All right, so let's go ahead and start. And I think I wanna start with the bass just so we can kind of follow that format. So I'm gonna go to here and then we can not where is it f sharp minor i'm gonna go with my favorite key on this just so it's a little easier for me uh and here's the bass it's just a custom sound oh can't hear it there we go all right so let's go in here and i'm gonna let's just do the most generic let's literally just do this and then just spread them out uh probably put it on here and then we can just let it kind of play Okay, just a simple bass line, doesn't need to be perfect. I'll pull that up, pull this over here, pull that down. And then I personally, I kind of like doing stuff like this. Just kind of messing around with the the bounce or like the areas where it would change and pull that down. Okay, this is our baseline. Okay, so now we can move on to our next sound, uh, which will, I guess, be this bell. All right, so this is the sound we have here for our bell. I'll just play it just like a D2 in the bell. So it's going here and we just kind of remember F sharp, the E, stuff like that. Just throw those down. Um, if we need to use the other note now with making melodies like this you don't need to stick to the baseline necessarily as long as you got something that's in harmony so if you wanted to you could just do something like this it all works okay now i want to refine mine a little bit more i kind of like some of these notes um let's I hate this grid. I want this to be a little choppier. I'm gonna try to keep everything in frame for you. Uh, so let's offset this. So it's like a, something like that. Let's bring this back in. So we're just gonna reverse this. Okay, and then we can throw in another note. Um, let's make a chord from this note, just so it's in harmony. And we can probably throw Move this over. Copy it over, pull it down, and then we can add some other notes in here. Um, let's do like one of these little things. And then from here, if you make a chord backwards, you can see that this all is a harmony. Okay. Uh, so let's throw this right there just so it kind of matches the spot let's see Okay, 
Okay, that sounds different enough. I'm I'm cool with that. Um, I don't know how long we've spent on this, so I think I'm gonna try copying this here. This is our sound here, just like a like a little hollow bell. Right, and then doing this as well is helping with our range, making it sound a little bit like full, more full. Um, so that helps and we don't have to do that much now, right? And you could add more. I think what we could do now is add like some chords in here just so it's not just one simple melody. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so this is the bell we have. Just a little sharp bell, okay? So we're gonna go in here and try to make some chords. Um, we're gonna start on our F sharp, of course. I do think some of these need to be pulled down. They don't need to be this crazy. Okay. Um, and with this, we just, we could do a fifth. So you can go up seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then honestly, you can use everything in between here. Um, let's copy this over and then let's try some stuff. to mix it in a little bit better because some of these are a lot a lot higher okay let's take this take this c let's go up like that let's open it up a bit like so Ooh, i like this all right, I like that. I'm not gonna mess it up. I'm gonna just leave it just like that. And now we over here, we just add like support notes. So just notes that lead into this. So something like that. that is smooth all right so now i think that we're done okay yeah we got arcade left so let's go ahead and just mess around with that all right so this is the one i chose for arcade i just put an f sharp minor because we are in f sharp minor um i don't know i've never seen this before this must be new so i just thought i would try this just some interesting like samples or whatever some vocals so i'm gonna try to throw something in here real quick uh i'm gonna just go down and just play it and see what i like I don't know where it starts. Wait a minute. I need to mix this, honestly. It's kind of everything's all over the place. Let me see. Oops. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna reuse this one. Um, let's just try to find another one. I feel like that's overdoing it. That's smooth enough. Okay, I'm gonna put it at the end just so it's not repetitive. Let's play it from here. later all right so i like that um so now we're just gonna add our drums in um and then we'll do effects after so let's go ahead and do that all right so let's go ahead and try to do all the drums together so let's copy this bass line uh, shift d and then we're just gonna alter this make sure the velocity's up oops that's way too low move it over and then split it up maybe like that so it pops back up right here um and then i'm gonna just eh, i'm gonna just throw these over
All right, just so that that bounce effect, and then let's throw in our drums. Um, what's the easiest way to do this? Let's just layer. I probably overdid it. I probably shouldn't add all these drums. Yeah. Let's see what this is. Pull these up. Okay, yeah, that's hitting better. All right. And then hi hats, I'm gonna just kind of just tap them in. I don't. I think this should be very like clean. I don't want a lot of drums going on. So, we could do a little bounce right here. I'll do it later. Wait. For the hi hats, let's just mess around with the velocity. Just a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna flip these. Okay, I like that. It's very choppy. Um, so I'm gonna right click. And it's just extra lazy, but you know, it is what it is. Just trying to get this all made up. All right, and we're done with the beat. So now it should loop over. Okay, so I'm gonna add effects as well, but I just, uh, well, I guess we could play it after. So I'm gonna just add effects, I guess, um, and just kind of mix it slightly and then we can come back. All right, so let's do that. All right, so I just did a few things here, just a few changes to the little template. So I just put everything. I, oh, of course, I organized it right. Um, so I put both of these sounds together. OK, just because they're similar. Um, so now they have like this little effect going on with all these little effects here. Um, and then for the arcade, and this is the one that I really did a lot on. So I use auto tune. OK, um, this what is this called? Vocodis. And it just kind of gave it a weird sound. So I'm going to play it. Uh, how do we? There we go. So we're from that to this. Okay, and then everything else just kind of it's the same. Just pan some things a little bit. Um, probably should try putting that in mono. So now for the drum bus, same thing here. Transient processor. Um, and I just put a chorus to make all the drums wider. Um, so let me ex let me show you what I mean. You can see they're super mono right now. So if you just use this a little bit, it just widens up the drums. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And then the same stuff, just EQ, uh, soft clipper, negative twelve ish for that kind of saturation. And here's the beat. Oops. Right, and that's gonna be it for this video hopefully you enjoyed make sure you like comment and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one peace